Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a um, comparison video with these three coffee grinders. So I have separate videos on all three of these, but now I'm going to put them all together. I've been doing a bunch of, I've been grinding a bunch of coffee. I'm going to show you the results that I've got come up with. So we'll start off with the cheapest, Mr. Coffee, $43. The Cuisinart, that's around $60. And this OXO is around $100. Now the Mr. Coffee is a BVMC-BMG25. The Cuisinart, this is their Super Grind Burr Grinder. It's the DBM-8. And the OXO model number is 87170000. I was able to find this used on Amazon for 75. They've got this used on Amazon for around 50. Again, this is 43, and I think there were a couple used ones too. So these two are like a flat burr grinder. This is a conical grinder. I'll tell you right now, I absolutely, I, I love this grinder. You just get so much more the more money you pay. But again, check out those individual videos on this. This one's the loudest. And this one I don't think did the best grind. So these two, the hoppers hold the same amount of coffee. This one holds a lot more coffee. This one's got a stainless steel I love this, the stainless steel um, that holds the coffee grounds. This eliminates a ton of the static electricity. My biggest complaint with, with these two was the amount of static electricity that builds up on these containers where you get the ground coffee. And they're just not the easiest to pour out of. This one ended up being, you can pour that right into your coffee maker. And then same with this one. I just end up making a kind of a mess with both of these but these you just end up with a lot of static electricity around and grunt and the coffee sticking to it and the lid I guess you could have it come out leave the lid on and, and kind of get it out that area okay so I've taken these apart here's the burr grinders see how these are kind of flat this is the part that that grinds the coffee and same with down here on the Cuisinart there's the other half of that Cuisinart that does the grinding. And this is a conical burr grinder. See how that's like a cone? We can take this out and you can see it even better. Now they do say that the conical ones are better for like espresso and finer grinds, where these are better around the medium and coarse. But I found this one did a pretty good job with kind of all the settings. And it was the quietest of the bunch. So the controls, this one's a little different. This is, these are seconds. And you gotta kinda play around with it to figure out how many seconds you, you figure out. And you press the button, that's what starts it. This is a, like a lever. And then once you find it, you got to start, you press the start button. And then there's off. But it, it stops automatically. And that corresponds to how many cups you're gonna fix if you're doing a medium grind. Same with this one. This one's got this. This is the coarse selector, coarse, medium, fine. And then this is how many cups it's gonna brew. And then you just press the button when you're ready to start. And it stops, all, all of them start and stop automatically. Stop automatically. They're kind of on a timer. They're just gonna grind for a little while and then stop, corresponding to whenever the selector is. So the way you, you select the coarse or grind, so there's fine, you gotta turn the whole bean hopper that corresponds with that line. And the Cuisinart is the same way. I like how this rotates. This one rotates better than this one. This one is a little different. There's this knob. Again, they all start pressing the button, pressing the button, pressing the button. Okay, so I don't have much coffee, but let's try to do a grind with each one. Oops, I need to set that a little bit more. Four is the minimum on this one. That was the loudest. The loudest by far. Yeah. 
This one's not too loud. This one's just so much louder than the rest. And we, I'll show you that static electricity. So see, here's your, here's your coffee. This one is so nice. It doesn't stick. It just you can pour it out. This one will end up with a bunch of static electricity. Okay, so I've been grinding a lot of coffee. The good thing is I'm going to be able to save this coffee. I'll put it in a container and use it. But um, So I was thoroughly impressed with the OXO. So here was kind of like a medium course. Here's medium. Here's a medium fine. Just Again, it really excels in the fine. I can tell that. The course, I can see where the course, it doesn't excel. Now it is coarse, but it does seem kind of choppy. The Cuisinart, again, just super loud. Here's the course. More e more uniform in the course area. Medium seemed okay. I don't think these do very well with the fine. And here we have the Mr. Coffee. The Mr. Coffee and the Cuisinart kind of in the same boat. Uh, the, the Cuisinart probably does a little better job at course. These kind of all seem the same. Not much distinction at all. But again, over here, the fines where this really excels. That's a very nice fine grind. And that was only a medium fine. The medium, medium looks really well, but you are starting to get some inconsistencies. Here's the medium, medium. It's got the same amount of inconsistencies as the Cuisinart. And the same amount as the Mr. Coffee. So definitely check out the used um, this one had, was used because it had a slight blemish. I forgot what the blemish was. Uh, it wasn't nothing too major. It didn't come in the original box, but I got the, they always try to include the, the instruction manual with it. And Mr. Coffee is sneaky. They, they hide their brush underneath the lid. I did my review and I didn't know the brush was there. So I would use the Mr. Coffee before I use the Cuisinart just because it's so loud. So these grinders are in preparation. I'll be doing some espresso machines. I've got the Breville, I've got the Amazon one. So kind of getting geared up for that this, this fall. I will be doing some espresso machines. I'm kind of winding down with the Keurig machines. There's a couple more Keurig machines coming out that I will be doing. I'll be doing my grand, um, kind of all my Keurigs, all the current model Keurigs I'll be doing a video on. Thanks everybody for your support. Again, I'll put a link to all of these in the show description notes. And thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.